tips, news, info, and more. And today, we're going to be talking about the awesome new mansion and house, even garage DLC coming with the GTA Online High Life update and the ability to purchase and own more than one garage and house at the same time. Congratulations to the winners of the $20 Xbox Live and PSN card giveaway for the last video. If you didn't win, don't worry. Make sure to watch the full video because sometime throughout this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can have another opportunity to win an awesome $20 Xbox Live or PSN card from me. Now to hop straight into things, we all know there is a DLC coming, the High Life DLC. It's coming pretty soon. There is no release date for it, but the big feature in this DLC is the ability to buy more than one house and garage at the same time, meaning you can have up to 20 cars. I think the maximum now is two garages or two houses, but supposedly they're adding new houses and apartments on the map too. Now, everybody thought that um, you and your friends were going to be able to buy mansions and apartments online. It was a big theory, and everybody thought it was from this website that you could use in single player to buy houses for some mission or something, that the website down in multiplayer. People thought for sure that was going to be the way to buy, and all the mansions that are on that website were going to be the ones that are going to be able to purchase with the new update. Now, while that may be true, I found a lot more of a likely explanation, and this all revolves off around the blueprint map provided with the Collector's Edition for GTA 5. If you didn't have the Collector's Edition, don't worry, I'll link a high-resolution scan of the GTA 5 and GTA Online Collector's Edition blueprint map in the description down below for you to check out. Essentially, there's a bunch of safe houses and hidden stuff marked on the map. Everybody thought for sure it was for single player, but the map does mainly revolve around multiplayer, saying that it has locations for Simeon, his cars, and stores to rob for quick cash. Now, I started going around and checking, and none of these were able to be accessed in single player, so I went over to multiplayer, and sure enough, the same thing happened. You couldn't access any of these houses, but they all had a recurring theme. They all had garages. They all had like a safe house look to them, and they all were not able to be accessed, meaning that they all have garages, they all have a safe house look, but you can't access all of them, yet all of these mansions and safe houses were released with a map released back with the game, back before GTA Online was even released, along with Simeon and all the stores to rob for quick cash. It's obvious this map is for online and has so many online things in it, but one recurring thing is there's safe houses all over the map and none of them are able to be accessed. Why would Rockstar put all these little safe house markings on the map if they weren't planning on releasing them or having any access to them whatsoever? It seems pretty obvious that these safe houses and mansions are going to be coming with a GTA Online DLC very soon. And my best guess is going to be that this is part of the High Life DLC, coming with all these safe houses and garages, seeing that the heists are also going to be released very, very soon too meaning you can use the safe houses to lay low after the heists are performed. This all works together great. I mean, Rockstar released this map. That's what it was. It was almost like some sort of secret preview, I'm thinking, for the what's to come in GTA Online for the heists and where are these all DLC mansions are going to be located. And there's obviously some very, very fancy ones. A great one, for example, right here is this one in the vineyard. First off, I go to the location you can see. I'll show the little blip of the map on screen right now. There's a little mark for a safe house right there. And... If you look, you can actually see this safe house and one of the official GTA Online images and screenshots released before the game was released. Now if you head over, you see a great sized mansion. Sure enough, there's a garage and a house that you cannot get into as I try to open up the doors right here and cannot get into. There's no for sale sign, there's no signs to be able to buy it, but sure enough, it is marked as a safe house in GTA 5 and GTA Online on the blueprint map provided with the game. This all links together the heist, the High Life DLC, the mansions, the safe house release, the multiple garages for the High Life DLC. It shows that Rockstar has been planning on releasing this DLC for a while now, and it's all part of their giant plan that was released even before GTA Online and GTA 5 were released. Wow, that went pretty deep there, but hopefully you got the point of that. Rockstar is planning on releasing some awesome stuff pretty soon, and it's all going to link together. And the game map, the blueprint map that came with the Collector's Edition, is actually some sort of sneak preview for it. Now, in order to enter to win an Xbox Live or $20 PSN card, all you have to do is drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for some more awesome daily gaming news. And also leave a comment down below, GTA 4 or GTA 5. I'll pick some random commenters in the next video. You can also follow my Twitter and like my Facebook for extra entries. I do exclusive giveaways and updates there too, so make sure to check those out. That's about it. And